Cricut has released a major update for Design Space for iOS. It's the first one in about three months. You'll want to make sure you update it if your iOS device is compatible. The way to make sure it's updated is to go into the App Store and I just search for Cricut. It'll bring up a few different options. You want to make sure you select the Cricut Design Space app and go ahead and click open. You've got this blue update if it has not updated. I'm going to click on that. If you don't have anything to update, it will just say open. This is the first update in about three months. You can click on the version history to get a brief overview of what's new. This is only for iOS devices with version 14 and above. If your iOS device is not able to do that update, you will not be able to get these features. Once it's updated, you'll see that open button. You'll go ahead and click on that. It lets you know that the update includes a refreshed design as well as new features like kerning, spell check, and right to left text. The canvas is where you'll see the biggest evidence of the refresh. All of the icons look different. Let's start with kerning. So I'm going into text, system fonts, and I'm going to use the I Love Glitter font since it works really well to show kerning. It starts with a box that says text. You go ahead and type in your own text like normal and you'll see that the spacing is beautiful. The letters are touching each other really well instead of being very spaced out. You can still adjust your letter spacing if you want to, but the default is really nice. Spell check is now included. It is the system version of your autocorrect, your autocomplete, and your spell check. It'll work within the app, but it will not show you on the canvas. Design Space now supports dark mode if you are working late at night and you don't want the bright white light. You can also now use keyboard shortcuts if you use a separate keyboard. So you can use Command C, etc., to copy and paste and the other shortcuts. In images, one of the new filters is you can search by language. I feel like it's not a super accurate search because this is the only ASL one, and I know I've seen more ASL projects. Navigation updates are a little bit different. The menu button is now these three lines in the upper left instead of a circle or your avatar. In the upper right, instead of the home canvas toggle, it's now just canvas. And instead of a drop down to let you choose whether you're looking for your projects in the cloud, your projects on your device, Cricut Access Projects, etc. You click on the filter option to determine which category you want to look at. Let's go through the frequently asked questions on the release notes. In order to get version 5.00, you do need iOS 14 and higher. Version 4.16.1 will continue to be supported for now. They don't have an estimated time frame to stop supporting it. It will not be receiving new features or new functionality. It asks, will updating to version 5.00 affect your saved projects, your purchase content, and your uploaded images? Their short answer is no. All of the projects saved only to your device and your downloaded items will still be accessible for use and you'll go into the saved to this device filter. Mine, when I opened it, I did get a pop-up saying that not all my projects transferred and that I need to call customer support. At the time of recording this, I have not done yet. Nothing is changing with purchasing content or doing Cricut Access. You can still do it in the app and it'll be processed through iTunes. The app is supposed to give faster performance some other updates to text on the canvas is the diacritics and ligatures are now supported and inline text editing. I hope it was helpful to see this major iOS update. If you want to see more videos about using Design Space on iOS and desktop, go ahead and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I release new videos. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.